Moving on. Question five. From at sports with an X. A lot of X's yeah. on Twitter. Apparently that's the trend. When did you guys meet and where? Hashtag Teep Q&A. High school. High school. Mm-hmm. We, here's, here's what happened. I went to elementary and middle school in a different district because my mom works at a preschool in a different district and it was just easier for her to take us to school there, me and my brother. So I went to elementary and middle school in Poway, which is like, you know, a 30 minute drive away, 20 minute, 30 minute drive away. And then going into high school, my parents told me I had to switch districts again. And that's how, because we lived in a city called San Marcos and that's where I should have gone to school. So, but I, basically, I lost all the friends I had made over there, had to transition back over. Luckily, I played soccer, and I had friends through that, so I transitioned a lot easier than I would have if I didn't play sports or have any sort of thing like that. But basically, I had friends, hung out with all the soccer people. Who were my friends. Who were also her friends. Because I play soccer, too. So, to summarize, I played soccer with everyone, so I knew a decent amount of people. Not that many, because I am transitioning from, I like basically left all the people that I had spent my childhood with. To move to a new district for high school. But basically, first day, I sang out with my buddy Ricky, probably my best friend. And he introduced me to her and her other friends. Best friends, yeah. Best friends. And then, that, yeah, that's how we met. It was the first day of high school. So it was 2006. Dang, that was a long time ago. That's, a, that's almost 10 years ago. Fuck! Let's that some sucks. More. That sucks to think about. <laughs> but yeah, we've been together for... Five years now, almost. Five and a half. Five and a half. We're coming on six now. Yeah, in April. Dominant. Next question from FNS <laughs> underscore Royal. How do you guys stay stable? Stable. That's a weird way to spell that word. Through busy schedules, scrims, YouTube, streaming, etc. I don't get why about staying stable. I guess our relationship stays stable. Yeah. Um. It's a battle. Like every relationship, there's ups and downs. Uh, I think it's easier for me to accept the fact because I'm treating it like it's a job and not that he's just playing video games and being lazy. Um, Just to chime in, I feel like that's the problem with most people. People see this whole pro gaming thing as you're just sitting here playing a game, which is one of the most annoying things. Every time I tell someone from the real world, I guess if you want to call it that, they... Don't see it as a job. They don't see all the time you put in. They think you just sit in a chair for a couple hours, and next thing you know, you have money flowing into your pockets. It's just not how it works. So, sorry. Continue. Um, also, yeah, I guess staying stable, that's how I do it. I just think of it as a job, and that even when he gets a real job, it will be worse, I guess. Because right yeah. now, I can just come over to his house, and he's there, and it's like we can banter a little bit. Um, whereas if he had a real job, we wouldn't be able to do that. So, I guess we always, when we do have time, we try and make the best of it. Like, we go out to dinner, go out to lunch, whatever we can do. He'll come over when I'm watching the kids. Because I'm a nanny, by the way, not our kids. Um, (laughs) um, And so, we just try and make the best out of it. And try and be understanding, I think, is the best thing. It's all about perspective, in my opinion. I could be working eight hours a day at a real job and not be around and not be as accessible as I am now, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. And now, right now, I stream anywhere from like four to eight hours a day, which does take its toll eventually and it's hard to plan things around stuff like that. But it's something I just need to take advantage of while I still can. And with all the success that's been going on, all the growth that's been going on, it's just one of those things. It's a job. It's just something I need to grind out and Take the most advantage as possible. I mean, as long as you keep the perspective of it's a job, then it's pretty easy to make the relationship work. We we haven't really had too many problems because I've been playing so much. And then if I am playing too much, she'll just come over and slap slap me and then I'll just stop playing. Oh, yeah. Right across the face. Yeah. That's a joke. If you didn't pick up on that. Sarcasm. She doesn't hit me. Thank the Lord. Moving on. The underscore Corey Kemp. Another question. When you're done with competing, what will you do? What do you want? What do you want me to do? I'm putting you on the spot for one second. What do you want me to do when I'm done competing? Finish college. Finish college. Yeah. Very, very solid plan. Yeah. And then honestly, I've supported him this much through his dream because this has been his dream. I just want him to further going into his dream. I really don't have any expectations or wants for him. Whatever he thinks is the best option for him, I trust him in his decision making. 
kind of just just a great girl right here. She trusts me. Ooh, confidence in me, <laughs> loving it. I think I think I should cast or do something along those lines. Being involved with the scene once I do hang up the sticks and start stop playing. I think I'm still way too talented right now to you know, stop playing. Uh, I think uh, I keep improving, to be honest. Each and every game and each and every year I go through this, I pick up on a lot of little tendencies and a lot of little things in the game of Call of Duty that I feel like just heighten my intelligence even more. So I think it's not quite time for me yet, but I'm going to admit these days playing all these league matches and the tournaments on the weekends and stuff, they do get pretty stressful. Maybe if I didn't live in California and could play on some better connection, it would be less stressful. But some of these matches, I just, she's seen it. I just get off the game. I just need to sit there for a little while because it's really, really frustrating. So it's, yeah, well, that's one of the toughest things. But going to LAN tournaments and things like that is just very, very fun to me. I'm very competitive and I love doing well at tournaments. I haven't been doing too great as of late, but I feel like we're improving a lot. And I just, yeah. But probably I'll try and do some casting. I think I have a, a knack for it. I'm getting more and more natural at it the more that I do it. So yeah, probably something along those lines. Maybe try and get a gig with MLG or something like that. Moving on to the last question. This video is already 16 minutes. Holy crap, I might have to split this up into two. Last question. Ice on the burn with underscores. It is speculated that you have five balls that dropped instead of two to make your voice deeper. Is this true? I mean, my voice is pretty deep. Ugh. But... Deej, do I have five balls? I wouldn't know. I don't have five balls. <laughs> I like her evasion answer. Loving it. <laughs> Absolutely love it. I thought this was quite. I thought this question was just pretty funny, yeah. just for shits and giggles. But no, I don't have five balls. I just got a deep voice when I was about thirteen years old. No facial hair. That's a struggle still. No. But I got the deep voice. I should be face. like a voice actor or something. Baby face. Baby face all day. I got this little scroll. See those little black hairs, dude? That's all I got. Your Mexican stash. Hola, my name is Taylor. All right. That's the last question. That one was just a silly one. I might split this video up into two. I'm not sure yet. But thanks for watching, guys. First Q&A with at Blonde Deej. Deej. Just call him. Just call her Deej. Not Blonde. Her real name's Danielle. Not Blondie, not Danny. Just Deej. Just Deej. That's about it. Thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Leave your feedback in the comments below if you want more of these videos from us too and we'll we'll do more if you like them if not we'll just fucking stop it's easy as that thanks for watching guys subscribe to the channel leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and we'll see you guys next time league matches tonight against phase and elevate gotta get those two o's you got it then we can go to the hibachi table boom got it thanks for watching guys see you guys next time later peace